what up? I said, what up? What's going on, y'all? Chilling, chilling, chilling. I want to give a shout out to my boy, Jive Turkey. If y'all haven't checked him out, I'll put a link in the description. Y'all go and check him out. Show him some love. All right, what's going on, people? Iron Texas here with another video for you guys. And this video today is just going to be me testing out my new set up a new rod and reel combo got the abu garcia black max 2 set up on the daiwa lexa seven foot two medium action um really looking forward to seeing how this rod handles um when i ordered it i didn't know it was the micro guards on it so we're gonna get out here we're gonna test it out and see how it handles so y'all sit back, relax, and enjoy the video. All right, here we go. First cast with the new setup. Oh, that's nice. little effort and it's getting out there pretty far so liking it it's my first time using a uh, micro guard i mean the micro eyes on it but uh so far so good looks pretty good I like the way it casts there's some nice distance on it without even really trying Get some really good distance on it. Like I said, not even really trying to cast it out. But it's getting out there nice. All right, boys, here we go. First bass on the new rod. There you go. He's not big, but he's the first one. And um, I'd like to thank the little guy for uh, showing up and being on the video. New rod with the Black Max combo. Throwing the jig, Santone finesse jig with the uh, cut cut in half um worm there you go that's what it is right there guys first fish on the new rod and reel combo i'm liking it let me get a picture of him so we could uh remember him little guy but like i said still a good fish you know like i always say big small iron texas loves them all there you go look at the colors on him you guys i love when they have that nice line you can see it real defined on them Good little fish. Thanks. Woo. All right, guys. There you go. First fish on the on the Lexa. All right. Here we go. Here we go. Here we go. Second fish. Second fish. Second one. Another nice little dude. They're not really big, but they're hitting today. They're hitting on this little jig I'm throwing out there. They're liking the way it looks. I guess that little worm that action on the back end of it is really getting them i guess there you go another small one he's not a giant but like my buddy skip says he's a number there you go so i'm liking this lexa man it's a uh, medium action but i can feel all the little taps and hits that's how i know there's there's a fish and set that hook 
and they're just all hidden right here in this back little area and what i like about this rod it's it's big it's so long that it doesn't take much to cast it out there pretty far and it's working I, I like it man i'm really i'm really enjoying this new rod so we'll just keep on fishing until they stop biting here then we'll move on to another area It's a beautiful day. It's about an hour before sunset. Got the mockingbirds over there singing. It's not that hot. Nice view of the lake here. Look how far that went. Didn't even try to cast it, you know? It's smooth like butter. I like to take it slow on my way down, make sure I don't fall, make sure I don't put my foot on any snakes, because I know how they, oh, how they do love their little spot down here, just as much as I love it. So there we go, boys. No backlash, it's okay. Fix this line. Keep your eyes open, guys. Let me know if y'all see any snakes. But uh, so far, man, I'm really liking this uh, this new reel. I mean, rod, rod and reel, I guess I should say. Um, I was pretty happy with my Daiwa that I had before, but this this uh, Lexa, this rod, I can really cast this lure out there like super far with like little effort. I mean, I'm getting it out there, and I'm not even really really putting that much uh, effort into it. And it's going pretty far. I don't know if it's because the rod is longer. It's a seven foot two inch rod with the micro eyes on it. But uh, so far so good. I'm like I said, I'm really liking this this rod. My switch up lures here. I don't think they're liking this color that I'm throwing right now. It's a mustard propala. But I, I like the action on it. I really do like the action on this Rapala. It's a deep diver. Goes down four to ten feet. Let's see if we get anybody over here. If not, we'll switch back up to a jig. They were really hitting those jigs earlier. I guess because it's getting low and slow down to the bottom. Some easy for them to get on. That sunset. That's why. That's why I love being outside, man. Like the, the sights you see, man, sights and sounds of fishing. Look at that. I don't know if y'all can get that in there, but look at that sun going down behind those trees over there, man. You know, you can't see stuff like that sitting on your couch. You know what I'm saying? You got to get up, get out, and get hooked. Get hooked on something. And if it's fishing, bike riding, you know, just, just get out. You know, so much stuff to see out here. It's beautiful, man. That's why I love being out in, in, in nature. You know, if I'm catching something, cool. If not, you know, just seeing the sights and sounds like that, man, it's 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 a plus for me. So with that, you know, that sunset, I think we're just gonna end the video like that. Thanks for watching, guys. Y'all will be seeing a lot more of my uh, combo here. If y'all have any questions, uh, go ahead and uh, leave them in the comment section. Appreciate everything, guys. Tight lines.